Good morning, everybody. How are we going? I'm uh, on to acreage week. Re week, week, acreage week. This week. <laughs> Just to into a property and uh, was doing the edging for the last couple of hours. Come up good. Um, plenty of horse paddocks to do. Uh, I didn't get any footage out there. It's one of them ones I've just got to rip in and get, get as much done as I can. Same with this one, but um, I can typically leave the camera set up in one position here and it, it'll um, show the bulk of the work. Uh, I'll give you a quick glimpse now and we'll head through these gates. I'll show you what I'm up against and uh, we'll see how much I get done in my time frame that I'm allocated here and get on to some other jobs. What else have I got? Another edging job after this. Which is, when I say edging jobs, it's pretty much just going around the perimeter of acreages for people with the whip snipper. Um, a lot of people don't want to do it. A lot of people can't do it. Excuse me. Um, and yeah, it's more, uh, that's how I help a lot of the acreage clients is pretty much with the edging and um, edging and hedging. They're the two main ones. So I'll be onto just a residential, but a large residential this afternoon. I might get some footage of um, some hedging works that I'm doing there. I'll just see how I'm tracking today. Um, it's a, again, another lucrative day, but massive day. So I'll try and get this footage and anything else I can get today. Um, but yeah, I've just got to fit in where I can. I've got a lawn to do if I have time as well. So it's all happening. All happening for a Monday um, and all week. Every week's the same, so I don't know. Shouldn't be uh, any surprise to anyone now, but um, no, it's going really well. Just looking forward to getting all this other uh, gear sorted. There's only a few more now to tick off. Extension, um, chainsaw poles and things like that on the, on the battery powered equipment. The bigger ride on, 52 inch. It's the largest I can get on this trailer, so that's what I'll be getting. Um, have to go against uh, Husqvarna in that regard that they only have the 48 or 54 and if I can get a 52 rather than the 48 then I'm going to do that. The Toro I'm looking at also has nearly double the fuel tank size so if you're on acreages you, you want a big fuel tank. Um, there's a lot of factors I'll talk about in another video to show why I've chosen the one I have. Um, it's a heavy duty, light commercial, um, semi-commercial whatever you want to say there. Not, not their high end, but at the moment I don't have $30,000 to put on their high end one, so, or a trailer big enough for it. So I've just got to um, just keep ticking over, get these other little ones, just so I can fit in a few more commercials and acreages, get the profit margins up even more with these new pieces of equipment, which I'll go into future videos as well, but all of my equipment I own, I don't go out for loans. I looked at options for doing that, and it's just um, more of a stuff around than anything. When I could save that money in a space of time, I'd rather just, I know what I'm after, I know what I've got to get. It's not a matter of tiptoeing around, it, it's just, I need that equipment and I'm going to get that one for this reason. I'll go into all that for future videos. As always, plenty to talk about, but we'll get onto this. I'll just show you quickly out this window. <laughs>
a larger mower and with a side chute attached. But just wanted to test this out to see how worst case, absolute worst case scenario would go. Raise it to the top, slowly bring it down. Still did it fine. So didn't soar once, chopped it up fine. With this reedy type grass, it's hard to get every single grass blade. Uh, you're gonna get stragglers that wanna stick up here and there. But for this part, up closer to where you walk in, took it down to two and a half inches, all the way from whatever it was, four or five feet high, and it, it handled it pretty well. For a little residential unit, it's quite capable, um, especially for the amount of CCs on the engine. It's a very powerful engine. All right, I've probably got enough footage of the um, mowing, so I won't talk too much. <laughs> I'll see you back in the car, and if I get any footage of Sarvo, I'll just have a look. Speed this up fairly quickly just to get through it. Um, slow it down in some sections, but that'll be about it. Thanks, squeeze. Bye. Take it out on me. 